Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to our PLC Programming Methods to Sequence Machine series. In this series, we're going to be simulating a machine with some basic buttons and lights. It's going to start with the green light on, and when we press the green button, the yellow light's going to come on. We press the yellow button, the red light's going to come on. Just to add a little bit of variability, pressing the red button won't make it go to the next step, but we need to press and hold it for one second, and then the blue light will come on. And finally, pressing the blue button will start the process all over. While this is a really simple thing we're doing here, this can easily be scaled to any machine. And the best part about the methods we're showing here is they are compatible with all Allen Bradley PLCs. From the Control Logics and Compact Logics for Studio 5000, formerly RS Logics 500, to RS Logix 500 for the MicroLogix and the Slick 500, and even the Connected Components Workbench for the Micro 800 PLC. Actually, these are probably compatible with most brands of PLCs because they use basic programming fundamentals. Now, I'm not a fan of all these methods, but you will run into them out of the field. And I debated what order to put these in, and I decided to put them from the one I'm most likely to do, to the one I am the least likely to do. And that doesn't mean the ones on the tail end are necessarily the worst. They're just the ones, in my opinion, that I wouldn't use to program. In our previous lesson, we learned how to use the seal-in method to sequence machine steps. In this lesson, we're gonna modify our program to show you how you could do it with the latch and unlatch instructions. There'll probably be some passionate discussion down in the comments about whether this method should be shown, but in the end, you're gonna run into programs with this method, so we do need to understand it. Also note this was extracted from a live stream, so it is not perfect. There is a variation of it that I see, and that is the latch unlatch here, which is almost exactly the same thing. But in this case, we're going to, instead of sealing this, these in, we're going to do these latches. So let's just modify this. And this is a really easy modification. If we look at it compared to the seal in, right now we're output energizing seal in zero, seal in one, seal in two, and seal in three. And then we have this stuff here. In this case, we're taking that seal in piece out and we're changing all those to latches. Latch. Oh, it's not, I'm going to have to delete this first. Control X. But all right. Delete that. Control V. And this will be number one. And then delete that. Control V. This will be number two. And then finally we'll delete that. Control V, and that is number three. All right, we are gonna have to do a little, oh yeah, we gotta add one more wrong, but hold on, let me get, so now we can take all of these out. Oops, I just did something wrong. Control Z, I think I deleted, what did I delete a whole wrong? All right, so if we go to our Studio 5000, the only thing this doesn't have is a way to reset. I am going to take a little bit of leeway here, is I'm not going to stay bit completely, because, I mean, at this point, why wouldn't you use a move to zero if really the blue button is pressed? So we're going to change that last one from a latch to a move zero to this whole thing here. So we go down here, right here, we're gonna have a move. So I'm gonna drag an instruction down and this will be a move. And we are gonna move a zero to sequence CLM. All right, so this is a latch, unlatch example, and I'm pretty sure that's right. So let's download it. Okay, so we have a green light on, and we press the green button, it becomes a yellow light. We press the yellow button, it becomes a red light, and still that doesn't work unless we hold it for a full second, and the blue one takes it right back. So this does exactly the same thing as the seal in, but this one I like even less. In fact, of all of them we're doing, in fact, I almost left this one out, except my, my goal here isn't to tell you how to do it the right way or the wrong way. These are things we're gonna run into out there. 
But this is, if there's ever one that I would never do in a PLC program, it is this one right here. And the issue is, it's too easy to make this unorganized. That's really the statement I'll make about it. I mean, really, if we had it like this and it stayed super neat, and I mean, even the top row makes it really nice where we can see what's going on, it would be okay. But I rarely see them stay like this. They usually end up being a mess. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. Next, we're gonna show you a few links, including the PLC programming methods to sequence machine series. Till next time. Hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.